Previously on Cars Adventures, Sheriff was tasked with monitoring the Thunder Hollow Demolition Derby cars to make sure they didn't do anything illegal. Fillmore came along with him and was horrified with just how violent the Demolition Derby was and the fact that Sheriff didn't stop it because it was a completely legal activity. This made Fillmore realize just how violent the world was. And for the past several days now, he's been going on a peaceful tirade throughout Radiator Springs, trying to sanitize the town, afraid that his friends will get hurt. He started by removing all the weapons from Sarge's surplus hut, which upset Sarge so much, he decided to leave town. After that, he put up a massive wall around Radiator Springs to make sure nobody else could get in or out, and is now throwing out cars that are trying to stop him, including Sally, and Mater, who's already found himself locked out of town, as he left Radiator Springs before the wall was done. I can't believe this, Miss Sally. Otis and I were going off to try to find Fillmore's girlfriend, Chris Rostovsky, because we thought she could bring him back to his senses. But she's not at her place of work today, and we have no way to contact her. Then we come back to Radiator Springs, and boom! There's a giant wall built up around the town entrance. Yeah, this whole situation, it's a disaster, Mater. It's absolutely awful. How'd you get out here? What happened? Well, I decided to go talk to Fillmore about what's going on. And I asked him to let you back in. And he said that because you got up to so many hijinks and shenanigans. That's true. You do get up well, to, a, to a lot of those. That you should be kept out of town. I tried to protest, but then he drove me to the edge of town and knocked me over the wall. How did he possibly throw you over the wall? He's got like a whole device back there. It's like some, some sort of machine catapult thing. I don't know. But what matters is that now we have no way of getting back into Radiator Springs. Shoo, there's got to be a way to get back into Radiator Springs. There isn't, Mater. I've already driven all the way around here. The wall covers every area of the town. There's no way back in. Shoo. Man. That's awful. Oh, man. This is terrible. What do we do? I don't know. Here we are. On the outer reaches of Radiator Springs, just looking for a way back in. Looking for a way to help out Fillmore and make sure that this all stops. We all know Fillmore's a good guy. He's just going through a hard time right now. And whatever happened... We we need to confront him about it. We need to, to bring him back to his senses. Miss Sally? Yeah? We need to get to Chris Rostovsky. And how do we do that? I can't believe you just kick out Sally like that, man. Now Mater and Sally are trapped outside of Radiator Springs. What are we supposed to do? Hey, Patrick. Yeah? What is it? I, I think it's time. Time for what? I think it's time you try to arrest Fillmore. Colin, I admire your spirit, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work. And why not? You're an officer of the law. He has to abide to you. Well, here's the thing. I am currently all alone. The sole police car in this town. A town that Fillmore has taken over, and if I try to act against him, he will probably throw me over the wall, just like he did to Sally. And then, there will be no police cars guarding the town. Nobody keeping it safe. It'll probably get worse without me. I don't want to risk my position in town. So unfortunately, for the time being, I'm going to have to stick to the rules Fillmore imposed. Oh, man. It's terrible. What do we do? Hold on, guys. I'm getting a call. Hello? Mater? Hey, Lightning. I'm trapped outside of Radiator Springs here with Miss Sally and Otis. And uh, I think we came up with a plan. We know what to do to get Fillmore back to normal. It's like our plan from earlier with Chris Rostopsky, but uh, she's not working at the racing garage today, and we don't know how to contact her. But there's one car out there who does, and that car is Fillmore. Considering how Fillmore is doing right now, I don't think he's really gonna let you approach him. 
quite frankly, without risk of getting thrown out of the town. So Lightning, I have a very dangerous mission for you. You want me to steal Fillmore's cell phone without being noticed, and then somehow get into it and call Chris Rostovsky. Guys, I don't think that's going to work. Most cell phones are password locked or retina scan locked. There's no way I'm going to get in there. Besides, how do you think I could possibly get into Fillmore's without him noticing me? Let alone try to steal his phone. You want to steal my what now? Ah! <laughs> Can I at least have my phone? No! Well, that didn't work. Anyone else have any other bright ideas? All these cars making trouble. What a shame. Well, good night, everybody. It's time to go to sleep in my wonderful, peaceful town. Oh, huh, having one of these weird dreams again. One of the ones where that little guy comes and talks to me. Hey, man. Yeah, you. I was just talking about you. You're, uh, the representation of my inner peace, right? That's right, man. Now, I just wanted to take a minute to commend you for all the work you've done in Radiator Springs. Building up that big wall to keep everybody safe and secure inside the town. Keeping it all real groovy and peaceful, man. Well, thank you. Thanks. I'm really trying my hardest. Yeah. Definitely a whole lot safer. Especially now that you threw Lightning and Sally out of the town. Yeah. Yeah, I did throw them out of the town. Mater's gone too. and Sarge and the sheriff's still off in Thunder Hollow, but if he came back, he'd have no way to get in. Yeah. But... They didn't want to stay in a peaceful place. It's on them. You had to ditch them, man. You had to. Are you sure? Yeah. You had to, man. It's what you had to do. I... Well... I... Uh... Well, it's getting awful laid out. We should probably find a place to stay for the night. Maybe the tuners will take us in. Cruz's apartment isn't too far from here. But then again, it's a one-man apartment, and uh, there's probably not enough space for all of us to sleep, unless we want to sleep in our kitchen. Well, how about you guys stay at my place for the night? I've got room for all of you. We'll figure out a plan to deal with Fillmore in the morning. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll figure everything out just fine. Yeah, sure hope so.